Hello, my name is Troy Beekle and I'm with Premier Tech Horticulture's Grower Services Department. And today I want to talk to you about using a soluble salts meter or EC meter to determine the level of fertilizer you're applying to your crop or basically to check your fertilizer injector. Now fertilizer, of course, is basically a bag of salts coming from nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and micronutrients. But the salt contribution in your fertilizer solution, as seen here by the blue, there are salts coming also from your water before you add fertilizer. So you have various salts like sodium chloride, whatever. So the first step is to take and measure the amount of salts coming from the water and subtracting it from the salts coming from the water plus fertilizer. Now if you also inject acid, acid also does contribute salts. So you want to take and add together the contribution coming from the acid and the water as your starting base soluble salt content and subtracting that from your final with your fertilizer in it. So just to give you an idea of how this works, we're going to turn on our meter. We've already calibrated it, which is very important. And we'll start out by taking a measurement of the amount of salts coming from the water. If we take a look at our reading, we're looking at about 0.1 millisiemens per centimeter as far as the salt contribution, which is fairly low. Now we're going to subtract that number off of what the fertilizer contribution is to that solution. So we'll do that next. Take some distilled water and get that cleaned off. And I swirl it in there to try to get that fertilizer solution inside that little green cup at the base. We take a look. The fertilizer content is about 1.59 or 1.6. We'll round it off. So that means that if we take our water EC, which is 0.1, and subtract it from the fertilizer plus water, which is 1.6 rounded off, that means our contribution of our fertilizer is 1.5. So if we take a look at, at a chart that you would see on the back of a fertilizer bag and reference it, we can take a look that the column on the left shows the various parts per million rates of nitrogen, as we can see here in this chart from 50 down to 300. And over on the right side, you can see the EC or electrical conductivity that that part per million rate would have in that water source. And with a EC of 1.5, you can see that our parts per million rate is somewhere around 230 parts per million nitrogen. And that's all it takes to figure out what fertilizer application rate you're putting on your crop. So I'd like to thank you for watching this presentation, figuring out how to use your EC meter to determine your fertilizer application rate. Thank you. For more information about ProMix, visit our website and follow us on social media.